thought I'd do a quick video comparison um, between the the um, pumps or the outlet drain pumps out of um, various washing machines and um, this one on the right is a very nicely made um, probably can't get that into the cameras not like it there you go it's a Hanning um, 35848 um, pump and um, you can configure it to be you know for this outlet to be mounted in several different positions um, it's supposed to point straight out for the um, Speed Queen washer but I've had it just propped in another washer temporarily. Um, I actually had it mounted in the Simpson because I wanted to I've had the pump apart and you know I just wanted to make sure it wasn't sad and leaky and all that I also bent that spade terminal out of the way because it was sort of pointing more or less straight down to this plate and I thought that was a terrible idea so I wanted a bit of clearance between the metal and the that terminal but it seems to be a shaded pole motor with two sets of windings in it like I've never seen a pump like that in my whole life. It's 150 watts. Um, and I have no trouble believing this could empty the Simpson washing machine in probably about half the time this pump could. Um, this is out of the Simpson. The Simpson's a four and a half kilo washer. Now, you could definitely replace this with this. Um, the outlet spigot and everything is identical size. Like, there's no difference no difference at all in the size so it could be done if you really wanted it to and the little rating labels fallen off the one from the Simpson is um, you're not going to see it but it's 34 watts and the brand is Placet so there you go um, it's a lot newer it's made in April 1998 and the Simpson washing machine is not really that old and it's a yeah you know, it's what you'd expect in a cheap washer fairly, you know, average, but yeah, I just thought you guys might appreciate this um, as an industrial pump, it's, um, you know, the bracket's sort of neither here nor there, but the pump itself is, is superb, it's a very nice pump, um, they're guaranteed to run up to 1500 hours of operation, which is, you know, that's a hell of a lot of washing, because if you remember that I reckon the pump probably runs about five minutes every time you run the machine, maximum five minutes. Um, which is probably fairly, well, considering the short wash cycle which most people seem to use in those Speed Queen washers, it's a 15 minute cycle, which is extremely fast, so, you know, the pump's not going to be running for that long. It's going to run for like five or six minutes. So if you think about it, it's, it's rated up to 1500 um, hours. This is according to the, the Hanning website. They have a very similar pump, not identical model, but I can safely say that to buy one of these pumps new, you're looking at at, at least a couple of hundred dollars, no trouble at all. Um, Hanning makes some cheaper pumps, but yeah, they're nowhere near as nice as this one. Like, look at that chassis on it. It's all really good quality. It, you know, you can mount it in several different positions. That's just superb. Um, I sort of have a, have an idea to modify the pump to um, include, you know, a third outlet so I can have a tap on it and so I can drain the, the washing machine and the outlet hose dry so the water doesn't sit in the tub outlet spigot. So I'm not sure if I'm going to bother doing it, but I could also get a T-joiner and some rubber hose and, you know, it's pretty much going to be a very standard size. Like, these pumps are used in 50 different things. I mean, this little pump works really well, like, um, it's a horrible pump, like, it's, you know, poor quality, um, everything's sealed, it's not designed to be serviced or anything, it's designed to be piffed, whereas a thing like that, you know, you can lubricate it, it's designed to be pegged as well. Um, it surprises me a lot that, even though this pump's 20 years old, it surprises me that Hanning don't seem to make a kit for it, given that it's like a $300 pump, but that's just me, I suppose. I'm the sort of guy that would really desire to fix things up, but I guess not everyone would. Hanning want to sell pumps, they don't want to sell kits. Um, so if anyone knows if you can get a kit for one of these, I don't really need one, but... And I highly doubt this pump's nailed its 1500 hours, which is... You know, you'd expect to find this in commercial dishwashers and stuff, because... I really doubt that it's going to be a massive problem if you wanted to substitute A with B. Um, but I suspect the largest difference is going to be how long it lasts because this little pump's just a cheap piece of shit. That's just as simple as that. 
it's cheap um, cheap and nasty and designed to sort of be thrown away once it fails and I've seen these little cheap you know $30 pumps fail before you'd get your money's worth out of them every time I reckon I don't really think that washing machine needs a pump as large as this is but you know like it's got two fans look it's got one in there as you can see it's spinning around and it's got a big one on the end I haven't had it right the way apart like I haven't had the impeller off um, I'm hazarding a guess that either a technician left a washer in the machine when the original hub kit was done or someone's you know I had a coin go through it because it's um I wish I'd actually shot this when I had it apart but um, you can't see it really but there's a, um, a chip taken out of one of the um, plastic veins and you're not going to see diddly squat in there I don't think but you can see the chip just sort of maybe I can zoom in see if we can get a better shot of that yeah you can see the chip just sort of just out of the leading edge of that vein but I don't know what happened but it's obviously it's had a piece of steel go through it um, the inside of this pump was all rusty too so I think Trady Trevi might have been spot on about the um, tap water that was being used um, because it, it had a lot of rust in there like you know like what you'd get inside a, an electric jug uh, from years of operation and I'm not really sure but all I can say is it definitely needs the second fan because this thing gets warm fairly quick um, but then again the outlet hose on the Speed Queen's you know a lot wider so even though these outlets spigots are the same size this thing obviously needs a larger hose because once the water gets past this point um, the added restriction of having a, sh a smaller diameter hose would put a load on the pump and this thing's obviously designed just for longevity that's the only reason why they're using that there's no way you need to move that much water um, or I think that I think the head on the pumps going to be fairly high that's probably the biggest difference this pumps probably got a head of maybe two meters at the most whereas this one's probably got a head of maybe five or six um, even though you would never operate it that way but you know even these cheap pumps are fairly reliable and they'll move a surprising amount of water um, if you're going to play with them though guys thing like this is double insulated but a thing like that's got to be earthed so just keep that in mind because you know you're dealing with water and electricity and these are 240 volts or 110 in America um, correct me if I'm wrong if I'm a few volts out but um, the point is that you know you can do a lot of damage to yourself um, because yeah high electricity and water yeah bad so if you're going to be playing with it just be careful I've given this bracket a scrub but I think it's got grease on it who knows I might feel sorry for it and give it a wipe over with some turps or something and paint it then again maybe not I mean it's gonna do its job isn't it so alright thanks for watching